Thank you so much for watching our videos. And today we're going to explain a very interesting method that uh, can be applied in many disciplines that can be used with several weapons like Ketana, like Tanto, like Jari. And it's based on the fact to reduce my and to hide the weapon. This te technique or this method is called Yuki Doke, which comes from Yuki, that comes from snow, and Doke from melt or to dissolve into. So it's, it would be like to, to melt, like to go into the snow. As its name suggests, uh, this technique comes from the idea to be in the middle of a storm, of a, uh, a snowstorm, in a really cold weather. And that's something that we, we can say that uh, in our school uh, started in northern Japan, in Hokkaido, where, where the temperatures and the cold weather is uh, really often encountered. So the main idea of this uh, method is to have the two opponents that is coming close, so the, the opponents start a cut in, the, in different direction, and the, the whole idea is to reduce this Mai and hide the weapon to draw the weapon while you're reducing the mind using the difficulty uh, presented by the snow and the wind and the reflection of the light into the snow to hide our weapon. So we're going to go down and, and to make the nuki or the draw of the sword or the tanto or low down with the, with the spear or yari and use this uh, uh, difficult uh, sight of the opponent to reach him and to use the, the code for a final strike. Also, it's very important to understand that this reduction of my is not only uh, with, with the purpose to, to cut, it's also with the purpose to use your body as a blocking object of the, of the complete technique of the opponent. For example, if you're going in a downward cut, or a co, or going like a horizontal cut, you're going to use your body to be in the middle of the cut to avoid the high um, uh, energy or the kinetic energy to develop, to fully develop. Because when you are over here, you start to develop the energy and when you make the full extent, it's where the maximum power or the maximum strength is present in your, in your arms. So the, the whole idea is to reduce the mind, use your body to avoid the maximum kinetic energy of the cut of the opponent to go out from the cutting area of the weapon of the opponent and to use this diversion made by the, by the weather, by the, by the surrounding, by the snow, by the wind. Draw, you, draw your weapon that can, as uh, we have established, not only a katana, can be a, a several weapons and, and get the opponent into your range of cutting or your range of lethal attack. So in the in the scenes that you're going to, to see now, you will uh, uh, observe with a more de de detailed the main idea of this uh, technique. Hi, now today, student with Josh Luis Nogueira, we are practicing this method or the strategy that we are uh, studying together. So, the, the first thing that uh, is important in Yuki Doke is to, to get into the surrounding. Imagine that we are completely surrounded of snow, which is really white, so almost all light that is coming down is coming up. So it's like to have a big mirror in the floor, so if he tries to look down, he will encounter this really, really white surface that is going to reflect all the, all the lights. It's like to try to look directly to the sky when, when the sun is coming down. So we're going to use that in, in our advantage, uh, advantage. So the first thing, uh, Shidosh, uh, can you do just a slow mako? I'm not going to do the technique, just to explain something before. So Shidosh is going to do a mako. So look at that, he's doing a mako and the kinetic energy of the sword is going to reach its maximum level here and in this particular area. In this area, there, there is not harm of the mono uchi, which is this first part of the katana, which is really sharp and, and it's really lethal. So, the main idea is try to avoid the cut, and I'm going to do it slow, we're going down, so I'm going to reduce the mai and my sword, remember that in that line of sight, he will encounter everything white here, it's a lot of light 
coming up. So when I go down, I'm forcing him to look down, so he's, he, I'm, I'm not, he's not going to be able to see much. So I'm going to reduce the MI, he's going to finish cut, and look at my shoulder, it's going to be here. When I'm here, my sword is already drawn, and then I can make a cut. So my body is like a shield that will avoid him to continue the cut through me. And I'm close enough to be here. The thing is that he he's taken by surprise because of the fact that when he starts the movement, I am going down and all the light that's coming up, he, he tried to hit what he thinks I, I am. But actually I just move and my shoulder is here, and then I can reach him. That's one of the uh, peculiarities of the technique. For example, this is a method, so we can study different perspective. Another one, if you cannot do a higher echo, so instead of going into this parallel, I'm going to do into the comp complete sagittal plane. I'm going to come and go down, so he thinks I'm here, but I close them my eye and Look at this. I'm holding, using my body to avoid him. Remember, the maximum kinetic energy is around here and the mono which is there. But I'm ready here and then I can cut. He can draw in several ways. For example, we can do now a horizontal draw following by the cut. Like, look at okay. And then the same thing. He thinks I'm there, I'm already here, avoiding. And when I'm here, I'm already having the sword drawn, and then I can cut. So, in this case, a thrust. So, try to do this again, to at least to understand better the timing. When he comes, here, and over here, and cut. So, uh, remember, this is a method that can be applied in several situations. We have shown maybe two or three examples of that, but Remember to use the surrounding in your advantage, closing the eye, using your body as a shield, and the sword uh, or your weapon, because we're doing now with a bokuto, but can be done with several weapons, is hidden using this advantage, close and trust. I really hope that uh, you have enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Shido Shui, for your help. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And well, see you in the next video.